Hi guys, it's Barnaby, full spurred on, outside the Stadium of Light, where it was Tottenham Hotspur 1, Sunderland 0, or Sunderland 0, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Um, this is my match review. Now, we won. That's the most important thing. Confidence boosted, three points in the bag, better than Chelsea have done. So that is the positive. Ryan Mason finished the move that Lamella set up brilliantly. It was a beautiful goal, a great finish. He got injured in the process. But I'm not going to just say it was brilliant when it wasn't. I'm not going to say that paper's over the cracks. It doesn't. The play is still incredibly slow. The tempo is really not there. And we're not stretching teams. Only when Andros Townsend came on did we really stretch anyone. And in fact, him, he beat his man a few times. And that's the first time I think I've seen a Spurs player beat his man convincingly all season. Lamella came on uh, as well and played his best kind of 20 minutes in a Spurs shirt for a long time. So they are positives about Lamella and Townsend. However, before that, very, very scrappy. Now, I'm not going to pretend that you can come to places like the Stadium of Light and expect to win easily. That's not always going to be the case. We didn't win here last year. We only got a draw last year. So we've done better than we did last year. However, I do think there's a, a, a lack of confidence in there and potentially it's still as a result of a lack of leadership. Uh, I think Toby and Jan, you know, they both played well today, but they need to step it up in terms of really getting into players' heads, making sure they're on their game all the time. Nasser Chadley today wasn't in the game at all. And I don't think he should have a divine right to stay on the pitch either. I thought Dele Alli played better than him. And sure, Dele Alli's young and is going to tire, but I don't think that's why he was taken off. I think it was taken off because he wasn't as senior as Chadley. And in my personal opinion, I would have had Chadley off before Dele Alli or um, Hyung Min Son, for that matter. Anyway, the important thing, like I said, is he brought Lamella on, he brought Townsend on, and they changed the game. They stretched the game. They made it different. Uh, it's an important result for us, that game. 1-0 uh, win. Massively important going into Palace at home and Man City after that. We can go in with a bit of confidence against Palace. I think Palace will come at us. So, you know, that might give us more of a chance to, to get in between the lines and get in behind them. Harry Kane still hasn't scored. That's five Premier League goals. And the pressure is going to rise and rise on him. The press are desperate to get on his back. Everyone's desperate to say he's a one-season wonder. The key, though, is he works his nuts off. And he holds the ball up, and he brings other people into play. So do I have any doubt that Harry will come good? No, I don't. He's still getting himself into the right situations. We saw, uh, we saw in the week for England that he can still put the ball in the net. It's not going to be a problem. We just have to get him to score that one goal. And it's a shame he missed a chance at the back stick today. Anyway, in conclusion, guys, we got the win. That's the most important thing. Three points. All that matters, all that matters is the win, three points, and let's roll on the next game. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you agree with what I had to say in the comment section below, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at TV. Thanks a lot.